My channel my name is bell and this is the bell perspective and we're going to be reviewing ready to love season six episode i think six either five or six i think it's six anywho so i'm gonna be and forgive me like i'm trying to find my rhythm my way sort of i've been finding like different areas around my house to try to record so i don't know we'll see we'll see which area that i like the best um and also, forgive me, I low-key just be coming on camera looking any kind of way. I don't look like this in real life. I really do be looking pretty. I promise, like, my hair be done and my face be did and stuff, and I be having on cute clothes. But, you know, once I'm done working, <laughs> once I'm done working, it's like, do I want to put on a face? Because by that time, by that time, if I did all that work, then I don't want to come, come on camera. I want to go somewhere. So, anywho. Y'all get what y'all get and y'all don't get upset, okay? So, um, I didn't make any notes. I had a really busy weekend. Um, it was kind of, kind of slow on Saturday. Well, not slow, but it was kind of like scheduled and, and cool Saturday. But I feel like Sunday just kind of picked up and I was ripping and running, ripping and running. So, um, had a good weekend, but let's get started. So, I watched the episode on Friday, so it might be a little patchy, but I want to talk about one particular person okay i want to talk about one particular person let's get into it so um the episode opens up with um uncle tommy is his name uncle tommy oh nephew tommy anyway he's so annoying he always has to make these big ass like hey y'all what's going on i'm nephew Tom. like you're not this is not an award show like you're not emceeing like it, none of these things are happening i don't know why he talks like that but whatever so in his mc voice in his best mc voice he basically says because guys have the power today or in this episode he says to the men basically hey whoever your you know second backup plan and he literally used backup plan whoever your backup plan is take that person out and see if there's anything possible you know thing so i was just kind of like if a man ever told me that he was his, I was his backup plan, just count me out. <laughs> just count me out. Like, I, I'm good. I'm cool. I promise. I don't, I'm good. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need you that much. Like, it's, it's good. You're cool. So, um, couple people, cause some of this stuff wasn't even important. It was kind of boring. I mean, not boring. Like, damn, I don't want to watch this, but boring. Like, eh, whatever. Let's hurry up and get with it. Eric takes out Carmen. And this is where I saw Eric's true feel, true colors, like true colors came through. And I was disappointed because I really did like Eric, but his true colors really started coming out. So Carmen is doing her Carmen thing. She walks in being all seductive, basically throwing the cat at the man, basically just being her usual self and then has the nerve to try to talk about the Kia saying that the Kia walks around like a desperate woman. It takes one to know one, huh? Okay. Y'all know how we feel about Carmen around here. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving forward. So, by the way, I got to shout out Yo-Yo. Girl, you was right. Eric ain't, girl, Eric ain't, he ain't it. You right, he ain't moving like no real man. You right, you right, you's right, girl. I got to give you a right, girl. Here, Here's the right award, girl. You got it, girl. It, it's yours. Um, cause you was right about that one. Anywho, so he basically tells Carmen that he and Dakia, or Dakia leaned in to kiss him and he obliged. Why were you telling her that? Why was that information that you needed to share with Carmen? It was very be made. Okay. <laughs> it was very be made, which with a B made okay very be made and i i didn't appreciate that and then carmen of course doing her talking first of all not only was that be made that was also ammunition that you could that carmen could take back to use against takia that was such a anyway fake 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 anywho okay so that raggedy um date went on 
Donovan, first of all, Donovan looked just like Genuine to me. He looked like Genuine brother or cousin. He looked like he could be some kin to Genuine. Drop down in the comments and tell me what y'all think. I feel like he um, is some kin. I feel like he's some kin to Genuine. Or if not some kin, like that's, that's Genuine's like older brother or somebody like that. Um, well, he might be the same age as Genuine, quite as his kept. I don't know. But, but anyway, he ran, he's some kin. He's some kin to Genuine, I promise. He looked like it at least. Like he could be a cousin or something. Donovan, you might want to, well, I don't think Genuine got no money. I was going to say he might want to call the cousin and see if he can get a couple bills paid. But I don't think he, I don't think he got any money anymore. I mean, not like that. Not he poor. I'm sure he got more money than me. But anyway, end up moving on. Donovan looked like, looks like Genuine to me. Um, or some kin to him. Um, okay, so Donovan takes out Dakia, Carmen, <laughs> and Sabrina, okay? Um, I think he had the deepest conversation with Sabrina, like they were talking about children and wanting to have more children and what their family looks like, that kind of thing. Dakia, they kind of had just like back and forth banter the usual and then carmen per usual serving her cat on the plate just so per per use right we're not we're not taken aback by this anymore um he did what i thought was kind of sweet and again i don't know it might be just the move it might be a, a you know a scheme that ty set up but <laughs> But he remembered Carmen's birthday and he did a little something special. Although the, little, the gesture was free, but it was still nice. So it was cool to see that. Um, so it sounds, it sounds like Donovan listens. He's not my fave, but it sounds like he kind of listens or whatever. And we'll see. Because at this point, I don't have no hope in none of these men. We just going to keep on moving, okay? So Donovan takes out three of them. He says that he really likes Sabrina. And you can kind of tell because they were actually talking about some real real things um or at least something that was substantial for a first date um who else uh no eyebrows and i meant to go get my eyebrow um my uh what is it called benefit brow i meant to go get that eye pencil for you demetrius because you need it them eyebrow baby if clifton can't take none clifton need to just take some take some a little bit off the top and just donate some to demetrius because i'm so sick and tired of looking at his face with no eyebrows it's so annoying Benefit Brow at Sephora, um, brother. I think it's about $13. $13, maybe $14. It works wonders, okay? Um, Demetrius takes out Christina. Um, or Tina, or whatever her name is. I'm so sick of them contacts. But you know what? I'm, I'm starting to think that this is a thing. Because pretty much everybody, the girls that I meet that are from Maryland, they be having contacts. And I live in the DMV, so... I'm not from here. I'm not from here, but people, anywho, the girls that I see from Maryland, they be having that. They be having that in their eyes. So I guess, I don't know. Um, anywho, we'll move on. We'll move forward. So Tina basically comes out the gate like, hey, I don't know if you're interested in me because you don't even speak to me, which is typical of Demetrius. I don't understand why the women are even interested in him. He don't show any interest in, interest in any of the women, number one. Number two, I feel like he, um, like he's, feels superior. Like he has like a superiority complex. It almost feels like he's better than the women because he doesn't, he doesn't show any true interest in any of the women. And the little bit that he does possibly show, it's not enough. It's not enough. So... Christina basically was like, listen, I don't know if you're really interested in me. You know, you seem like a player to me, da 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 So she was coming out the gate, right? And he perked up, right? And it, it seemed like he was more, like he was actually interested in her. But to me, I feel like she posed more of a challenge to him. Because like, it sounds and it feels like he's so used to all the women at the, on the show basically being attracted to him and wanting to get to know him more. And she's kind of like, yeah, I think you're attractive, but I'm not, I'm not about to be jumping through no damn hoops. Which, I respect that. I do. But, girl, tread lightly, girl. Because he ain't... <laughs> he ain't about... He ain't about it neither, girl. Um, 
he not about it either but we'll see we'll see we'll see honestly i don't i'm not even a man that don't got no eyebrows so i can't trust you i can't trust you i can't trust you <laughs> um paul uncle paul uncle paul takes out joy joy basically was like i don't know what the hell we doing here but i'm gonna eat this free food and drink this free drink and um and that's about it and paul basically tells her hey you know you kissing clifton may have set off some other guys you know, may have made other guys not be interested. Joy was like, and? Your point is, and your point is what? Right. I get that. Joy, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Paul, nobody cares. Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, Kelly, no one cares. Okay? Move forward. Move forward with your life. Move forward with yourself. Okay? Move on. Um, Clifton takes out the Kia. I really like the Kia. But those sexual, sexual innu innuendos. I'm just so sick and tired of the sexual innuendos. And again, I swear I'm not a prude. Well, at least I don't think I'm a prude. I feel like I'm not a prude. These people make me feel like I'm a prude because of the way that they're constantly being so sexually inappropriate. Like... The way Cl so Clifton fed Dakia an oyster, and she, they were talk first of all they were talking about gag reflexes. Girl, what? Stop! Stop doing this. If you want a serious relationship, do not put sex on the table early. Again, I say I think I say this in my videos every time I turn around. Sex to men is like telling two year olds they're getting candy. They are not going to be able to sit and listen to you. They are not going to be able to hear what you're talking about. They are not going to be being able to be engaged and, and really take what you're saying seriously. They're only going to be thinking about candy and when they'll be able to get it. That also means that they will manipulate. They will, they will stretch the truth. They will yes, yes some you basically say yes to everything you say so that you can give up the candy okay they will do absolutely every any and everything to get the candy if you talk about the candy that's all they hear is candy and that's all they're going to want until they get the candy and at that point once they've done that then they've decided hmm, do i want to sit here do i still want to say meh, meh, meh. i don't know but you've given candy i just so again, don't talk about candy unless you really about giving up candy. Cause because it's not it's not gonna be beneficial to you, especially not too soon, not too early. And if you're really trying to build a real relationship. I went off on a tangent on a rant. Sorry. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna try to make this video really quick. So, um, he feeds her oysters. They talk about gag reflexes, and he was like, Oh, you know that was sexy as hell. All oh, they talking about sex. Dakia, you're you know, no, 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 no. Clifton keeps saying Joy is his number one, but I am so not sure about Clifton. I, the way that I feel about Clifton, I'm just so, mm, something ain't, like my grandma used to say, something in the milk ain't clean. Something in the milk ain't clean. I can't put my finger on it, but something isn't right. Something isn't right with him. Um, he'll tell you one thing and tell somebody else something else and he's told everybody down the line something totally different and i just mm -mm. It, no um did i say oh yeah uncle paul i already talked about uncle paul um who else there really wasn't any oh how could i forget tori now here i was last week feeling sorry for tori was like damn tori and was even about to say that i felt like tori was uh handsome looking snatch all that i i didn't say it on video good thing i didn't get that recorded or documented because baby i'll snatch all that back no thank you tori couldn't get nowhere near me first of all he's emotionally immature okay emotionally immature first of all yeah first of all you emotionally immature second of all you don't know how to have um have a conversation he went out on a date with precious he avoided real questions precious by the way continuously put sex on the table like that's something like the way that these women think that how to get men's attention is so is so 20 year old it's so 
college age girl like who has no idea how to handle with people of the opposite sex girl this is not the way you're going down the wrong road this is not the way not the way girl not the way anyway so she puts it on the table here he goes with the foolishness and the banter about rupturing kidneys i don't know what grown ass woman wants a damn kid who in a world who in a right mind would want a ruptured kidney Tori, you got to go. You got to go. Get up out of here. Get up on out. Go on. Bye. See you later. See you later. Bye. Um. Oh, and Laverne. How did I forget about Laverne? Laverne and Ace. I didn't see anything. There was no chemistry. Again, I saw no chemistry. I feel like Ace is flying under the radar. Ace needs to be voted off. I hear people saying that they love Ace. Her personality is all these things. Ace is boring as hell to me. Ace, I respect you. I think you're a beautiful woman. But ma'am, I feel like you are absolutely boring. You bring no conversation to the table. You are not engaged in conversation. I feel like Laverne likes you because you let him do whatever. You don't say no. And I don't even think that you're comfortable with him. You give me that you're afraid of him but you don't know how to say no you give me i'm gonna go along with these guys and whatever they say i can whatever they want to do i'm gonna try to be cool and keep it going but i'm not really interested because you'll i remember when she did that with um cornelius uh cornbread jiffy cornbread right you know she said oh he's he, he was a cute guy I gave him my number it was really nice and then when they got to the ladies lounge she gave how she really felt she was like mm, it was okay i didn't really like him that is how she really feels she will not tell you how she really feels until until it's too late and you won't even know she'll tell somebody else and so i don't i don't respect that kind of person i only respect people who are direct and tell you how they really feel about things um and again i feel like laverne is able to do whatever he wants he got her some body cream and was like you know i'm gonna have to rub it on you what no i don't even know you like <laughs> and then he grabs her arm and rubs it and it was just weird it was just the most awkward weirdest move just get go away from me with this <laughs> that's how i felt um okay i think that's everybody tori you need to go you need to go okay you need to go i can't remember who said that drop down in the comments and tell me who said that you need to go i can't remember anyway um what was it mary Jamison? i don't know somebody tell me who, who who it was um so guys get together in the men's lounge or whatever you call it <laughs> uncle paul says you know i had to let joy know that i i didn't have a you know romantic connection with her no, you didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. But yes, he did. Wow. Um, Uncle Paul needs to go. Uh, Tori needs to go. He voted Joy to be in the bottom. Um, they ended up having a back and a, a, a back and forth. Come to find out, the guys don't really like Laverne, and I'm not surprised because Laverne. It's two different ways like he's one way and then he's another way and it's like how do we know who you really are and that's probably why he likes ace because she's the same way she's one way but you don't really know who she really is it's kind of like a go along to get along type of person but you'll never really know how they feel so there's like a mistrust distrust kind of thing there anyway i feel like that's what's going on with laverne he's one way one time another way another time and you're like who are you i don't i can't trust because there's no consistency um and it doesn't feel safe and i can see that so the guys get into argument i'm not gonna talk about what they argued about it was dumb it was stupid we could have moved on moving on um two women who get uh down voted on chopping block joy because they felt like she was only there for clifton and precious because she didn't have any other connections i think or demetrius went around and told everybody she was a party girl which is ridiculous i can't stand demetrius i i'm sick of him i'm so i'm i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired and i'm tired of this season too i really am i'm ready for it to be wrapped up and over um 
So Demetrius takes out Joy, and Joy was looking like, I don't know why Demetrius is taking me out, because he knows that he and I have nothing. Like, we've got nothing at all. So Demetrius says, you know, do you think that there could potentially be something with us? And she was like, you know what? No, when? And I really felt Joy. <laughs> I was here for Joy. And not only did she do that, he was like, oh, the men met and talked about you know, the lounge and, and Joy was like, wait a minute. She took a big old gulp of her drink and was like, okay, go ahead. And he was basically like, the men think that you've been closed off because of Clifton. And she was like, well, you know, I'm tired of going on all these dates and being asked all these questions. I want to talk to the man that I want to talk to. And it's not you. It's not Paul. It's not any of the other men. I'm sorry if you feel that way, but I'm not interested in y'all. I'm ready to, you know, zone in on the man that I'm interested in. Then she turns around and flips the script on him to my, um, are you here for love? Are you here for, for, for love? I was like, oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, um, and Demetrius, uh, 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 well, I, you know, which I thought was a great question because I questioned Demetrius's motive. I, he is not active with any of these women. Which clearly shows that he's not interested in any of them. However, he's staying on the show because I believe they get paid. And the longer they stay on, the more they get paid. Anyway, so ultimately, oh, and Clifton takes out Precious. Ultimately, Precious, you know, gets eliminated. She gracefully was eliminated. But there were so many things that I wish Precious had not done on this show. She is a beautiful woman. Beautiful woman inside and out. I really liked her personality. But there was just so many things that Precious did that we could have just lived without. We could have just lived without those things. And she could have too. But anywho, um, last piece. After the elimination, all the women get together. Uncle Tommy goes around, whatever his name is. Tom, Uncle Tommy, Cousin Tommy, whatever nephew Tommy goes around and asks all the women if they're okay the last person Dakia says no there was an incident with her and Eric and she does not want to film with him anymore and she's also potentially not going to want to film with ready to love anymore so what the hell did Eric do what happened and I'm like oh good god another Phil and Shiloh so we'll see what happened um Anyway, that is my quick review. I don't like to do recaps. I feel like you guys can watch the show and, you know, find out for yourself. And let's just review it, you know, give our opinions, talk the trash that we need to talk and say what we need to say. You know what I mean? I don't want to recap because that's what the TV is for. I just don't think that's interesting. It makes my videos much longer and I can already talk, right? So anyway, again, thanks for watching my video. My name is Belle. This is the Belle Perspective. If you want to be a part of the group, channel go ahead and like comment and subscribe um and i will see you at the next one bye